whether you're a professional speaker or you're having to give a presentation at work or you're going around the circle at Thanksgiving time saying what you're thankful for, there's like this feeling that overtakes your body. A lot of times people associate it with nervousness, like I'm nervous, but the chemical reaction of nervousness and excitement on your body is actually the same. A little under four years ago, the venue where I had my first ever professional keynote made $2,000 and I thought I was on top of the world. I'm back at the same venue here in Grand Rapids. I'm excited. Meraki is actually a Greek term that never translated into the English language. The soul, the love, the creativity put into something, the essence of yourself that you put into your work. We see millennials all the time leaving higher paying jobs to go to lesser paying jobs because they get to do work that's meaningful and matters to them. Does not always mean they have to be working at Tesla, working at Apple to do a meaningful work. We all have something in our gut that inspires us and when we can tap into that mission just a little bit, when we can not miss out on that taxi cab moment, we open up incredible possibility. Oh, hey, come on in. So this is not the exact room, but just over four years ago, my first ever professional keynote was in this hotel. I was, I think on this floor, but a couple of doors down. And so I just wanted to show you my crib. So this is the bathroom where I took my first shower before I did a professional keynote. I remember doing 10 squats in the shower to get my blood flow going. Honestly, I don't remember if I did my hair well or not. Here is the bed. My wife actually traveled with me, and so she fell asleep at a reasonable hour, and after she fell asleep, I continued to work on my notes. This desk right here, there was no computer. I thought no slides was a good thing, and you know there's some people that do no slides. I like them for some videos, for some visual delight. It helps get laughter, also breaks up some content a little bit. So there was no computer with slides being tweaked at the last minute. Today, I literally tweaked a slide, had to be like 90 seconds before we started. And then I came over to this area, which now serves as a, a beverage and entertainment center. I do love this Moringa product. So I like to put a couple of those in some water. Brings a lot of energy. I also travel with the Bulletproof coffee. I'll rewind four years ago, and there was papers and notes everywhere. That was four years ago. I give those people on MTV a lot of credit because this is challenging. Now maybe when I have a huge mansion, that's a little bit easier to be like, hey, now let's go check out the pool table. But I'm like, hey, come and check out this LG TV. We've got this really cool remote for whenever my friends come over, if they want anything to eat, I just, I just check it on here and I put it on the door and somebody brings it. So thanks for stopping by my crib. A little flashback to four years ago. A lot less stress this time around. A lot more knowledge. I'm out. <laughs> Like getting hit by a car would suck, but getting hit by a PT Cruiser, that would just be demoralizing. What up, Vlog? Just had four cigars, getting ready for our keynote next week where uh, we're working on some uh, voice modulation. So, gonna hit up uh, three more cigars later and then we got eight on uh, Sunday. So, today's going good. 
All right. See ya. Peace. Gary. Check them. Just finish up today. Kino, crack fries, which one was better? You'll never know. Kino was better. Did love the crack fries. Went to Hopcat. Started here in Grand Rapids. Tried uh, the three different types simultaneously. DM me on Instagram if you want to know which one was the best. Felt good coming out of the keynote. Had some timing constraints today. Some things ran long. Session got super shortened, but got some good comments from the meeting planner. Had some good conversations afterwards. And you know, every time you give it, it gets a little bit better. Your confidence grows a little bit. Your, I would say one of the biggest differences that's been happening over the last few months is feeling like my ability or accessibility to get good research on the client or the event. I think it helps create a winning environment for the keynote and yeah, I mean, I'm a little tired. It's been a long, it's been a long few weeks with some huge consulting projects and trying to maximize the summer, see my kids, but I'm excited. Early night tonight, get some rest, enjoy uh, Sunday. And back at it on Monday. See ya. Peace. Cut.